This is Queen Mary's College video on the alkenes, specifically looking at the addition reactions of alkenes. So you'll find this in the um, early section of the Beyond Fuels knowledge pack. If you can highlight the definition there, straightforward reaction type, two or more molecules joined together to make a single larger molecule. Just to remind you of the alkenes, unsaturated molecules containing the carbon to carbon double bond. The simplest alkene is of course ethene with two carbons. So we're looking at the addition reaction where the carbon to carbon double bond found in all alkenes, that's the functional group, is turned into a single bond between two carbons. When this happens, new bonds can be formed and other atoms or group of groups of atoms can be added on to the molecule. Let's take a look at the bromination reaction, the addition of bromine, Br2, two bromine atoms in a molecule. So any alkene can react with bromine. Bromine can be in the pure form, liquid bromine, or it can be an aqueous solution. And this reaction occurs at room temperature and pressure. So a simple example showing you ethene with bromine. And you can see that the bromine reacts with the uh, carbons of the double bond. Two bromines, each one adding to a carbon either side of that double bond, giving you bromine atom on the two carbons associated with the, the double bond. Another example of an alkene, this time pentuene reacting with bromine. So again, the double bond between two carbons, a bromine atom adds on to carbon number two and carbon number three, giving us the single bond and two bromines added on. Bromine has a color, orange in solution, and it very quickly reacts with alkenes. So this is the test for alkenes or unsaturated groups in a molecule. Color change there, orange to colorless. This may remind you of the uh, cracking reaction we did before Christmas where you produced an alkene in the gaseous form and reacted it with the orange solution of bromine water and that, you remember, became colourless. We could do the reaction with the uh, pure bromine, dark brown liquid. So if bromine, if pure bromine is used, then the colour change is dark red brown to colourless. So just making the point there that no colour change will occur unless there are double bonds between two carbons present in the molecule. Larger molecules, larger alkenes can be uh, reacted in the same way. So if you've, for instance, got a diene, two alkene groups, two carbon, to carbon double bonds in the molecule, as long as you've got enough bromine, then each will react. And so you've got the bromine adding on to each carbon of the uh, double bond, giving you bromines added on to each of those carbons. And the other double bond, so long as we said there's enough bromine, 
can also add on so you're getting one brominat attached to each of those carbons as well. Like I said, probably a very straightforward reaction type. Two molecules forming just a single larger product. So there's the bromination of ethene. Have a go at working out the addition products for these other reactions. Hopefully you agree that the uh, the first one, this rather the second one, C2H4Cl2, the carbon goes first, then hydrogen, then the oxygen or halogen. That one goes from the alkene to the alkane. And the last one there. C2H6 oxygen listed last. So adding on HBr this time, hydrogen bromide. So this gives us an addition product with just one bromine atom. Room temperature and pressure again, no particular color change. This time we've got propene reacting with HBr. So again we're going to have hydrogen bromide adding on to the carbons of the double bond. So let's say the hydrogen adds on to the middle carbon. The bromine adds on to the other carbon. So you can see hydrogen bromide added on to those carbons associated with the double bond. Otherwise the hydrogen can add on to the end carbon, giving us hydrogen adding on there. Otherwise you've got bromine adding on to the other carbon there. So you can see bromine this time added on to the middle carbon. So we have a mixture of products there. Another example of the addition of hydrogen bromide. You can see the bromine adds on to carbon number two shown by that product and then the hydrogen adds on to carbon number three not shown by a skeleton formula but there's the um, expected position there otherwise the bromine can add on to carbon number three there and the hydrogen adding on to carbon number two again not shown so two possible products two isomers as we said, the hydrogen of the HBr adds on to one end of the carbon, the carbon double bond, and bromine adds on to the other end. Let's take a look at the addition of hydrogen gas, H2. Reaction used in industry to, con to convert liquid vegetable oils like sunflower oil into the solid margarine two ways shown in red there the industrial process used to use this nickel catalyst high temperature and pressure otherwise the lab process using platinum catalyst both using hydrogen gas and an alkene so starting with ethene reacting with hydrogen you can see each of the two hydrogen atoms adds on to the carbon either side of the double bond giving you the addition product there clearly ethane
larger alkenes or dienes work the same way. Here we have a molecule with two carbon to carbon double bonds, but again as long as there's plenty of hydrogen there, all of the, uh, the carbon to carbon double bonds will react with the hydrogen. Let's take a look at the addition of water or hydration of an alkene. Two ways for doing that in the lab. We use concentrated sulfuric acid and water. And the industrial process uses steam with phosphoric acid catalyst. High temperature and pressure. So there we have the um, equation using molecular formula there, the E theme, with water giving us C2H6O, which is in fact ethanol. Propene with water, again we've got the addition of hydrogen to the middle carbon there, and the addition of OH to the N carbon. But that can work the other way around. We can have hydrogen adding on to the N carbon and the OH adding on to the middle carbon. So we're getting a mixture of products, both alcohols, propan 1 ol, propan 2 ol. The lab process mentioned heating under reflux. This is um, a particular technique used to um, heat for extended periods of time to volatile substances which are condensed from the gas phase to the liquid phase and liquid forms falls back into the flask particularly useful for toxic and flammable materials preventing any loss of reactants or products. We'll be talking about this process and actually um, looking at the, react the um, technique in much more detail in a later topic.